Hi, this is Bob, the old ham. I've uh, been working on uh, Heathkit HW9 here, and uh, one of the things that kind of bothered me was the fact that it does not have any illumination for the dial. And I got to thinking about that and working on that, and I managed to pick up some of these little tiny LEDs. I, I, that thing is really small. Uh, I think I measured it at uh, two tenths of an inch long and uh, about a hundred and twenty thousandths of an inch uh, diameter uh, LEDs. They are extremely bright LEDs, bright white. Got them on eBay and uh, so I wired four of them in there. You can see the wires coming over right here and right here and then right in here and right in here. Uh, so there's two, there's one right here and one right here behind the panel and there's one here and one here above the meter. I have 2200 ohm quarter watt resistors in series with them and these resistors are encapsulated here in uh, heat shrink. Here's one right here. There's a resistor for each one and then the wire for the power just goes down to the switch right down here. So uh, that's the whole thing. I just shoved them in there and I used the E6000 cement, uh, which I really like that stuff. It's a super nice glue for gluing things in electronics. It also is electrically inert, so you can use it on coils with no problem. So I put a dab of E6000 on there to hold the lights in place. And, uh, and so I've got it all hooked up here. Man, it really works nice. So there we are. The... Uh, the HW9 with the illuminated dial and the illuminated uh, S meter. So it uh, looks like it's going to work out real good there. So that's the project for today. So that's uh, that's it. Uh, today is the uh, is the uh, 4th of July. So wish everyone a happy 4th of July and good DX.